obviously we're in this crisis because <clears throat> we overspent for a long time. To get out of it, we have to stop overspending. Mm -hmm. But if you stop suddenly, then the demand in the economy falls and you have to make it up somehow. In the very short term, government spending can make up some of that. People should understand, by the way, this isn't a sharp jolt and the economy gets back to normal. No way. At the very best, this is just going to fill in a gap of the collapse of consumer demand right. and the economy is going to be in a mess even after the stimulus. The CBL, but, but, but then I'm over time, uh, yeah. Joe, if I just could add, yeah. we're going to need to export more to the rest of the world. That hasn't been discussed at all yet. Why? Has that not, that, it, when I get frustrated, this is what frustrates me. You're the first guest we have had on the show, other than these two, of course, I have to say, because they're there. But this is the first time I've heard somebody come here and say, here's the problem, folks. This is not long-term, it's not sustainable. The CBO's numbers came out this past week. It will give us a bump over the next year or two. But over 10 years, over the next decade, we would be better off in the long term to do nothing than to do this. According we, we've to been CBO, borrowing, it's not sustainable. We've been borrowing seven or eight hundred billion a year, a year okay. from the rest of the world, mainly from China, from Asia. And we can't go on as a leading country doing that for the long haul. And we're going to need for our consumption demand to be substituted not by temporary government deficits but by higher sales abroad. That's really the serious longer term adjustment and we've not heard any planning for that part either. So that's my word. And, and, and that's the problem, Dr. Sachs, that we don't hear about long term sustainability. We don't talk about the exporting of jobs. You and I have been talking for a year now about a green economy, an expansive grid of, about alternative fuel sources that could create the type of economic revolution of the exporting that we saw in 1990, in 91, and 92 coming out of Silicon Valley. That's not there. Is it pie in the sky for me to say, let's spend more money on green energy, on a green grid, on green alternative fuel sources? So we can actually own the 21st century and not, not at all energy. and the interesting thing is that's lurking as part of the stimulus maybe it's a sixth of it right now it's in there uh, it's the right idea of the president but this thing just became a, a mess of a, of, of a little bit of everything in it rather than a strategic way forward. All right. So let me then ask you, because actually we had Senator Boxer for our next segment, but she's been standing by getting ready for the live shot and listening to this conversation. Let me bring her in, Democratic Senator from California, Chairman of the Environment and Public Works Committee, Senator Barbara Boxer. Uh, thanks for jumping in early. You've been listening in. Yeah. And you don't completely agree. So much pessimism. It makes me very nervous when I hear uh, this pessimism because we have been in trouble before in this country and we've gotten out of it and we're going to get out of this and I agree with Joe completely uh, as he knows on the strategic plan to become the leader in green energy to become energy independent with clean energy that is in the plan as Dr. Sachs said would I put more in it yes but you're forgetting that within two to three weeks we're going to have an energy bill and then several months after that, we hopefully will have a global warming bill. So Barack Obama has a strategy. You can't do it all in one bill. This is just a start to put some of these funds out there. You know, when President Clinton became president, we were in very difficult times. And I went back and I read the record. Not one Republican voted for his budget. They predicted gloom and doom. The fact is we balanced the budget and we set our country on path to surplus. We can do this, but you know, obviously each of us could write the perfect bill. I know I could, I know Joe could, I know Dr. Sachs could, and Mika, I think you could. They'd all be perfect. <laughs> I think she's good. Wow. I think she's good. <laughs> They'd all be perfect for us. But what? that doesn't get 60 votes. You have to compromise. All right, you so, have to compromise. so uh, what? Senator, what about the sustainability aspect, though? Obviously, the CBO numbers show that we do pretty well in year one and year two. It might stimulate the economy by 3 to 4%, but then it falls off, and obviously, in the long term, the CBO concludes our economy would be better in the long term doing nothing. Uh, and then putting this bill forward. 
How do we export those jobs that Dr. Sachs talks about? Where or is that money? Create, create, yeah. 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 create, create the jobs through exports. Create the jobs. Not export the jobs. I'm sorry. Yeah. How, do we, how do we create the jobs through exports? How do we how do we start bringing money into this country like we did in the early 90s? Well, Joe, I think you said it, and Thomas Friedman in his last book, Hot, Flat, and Crowded, said it. The nation that steps forward and leads in the area of green technology will be the nation that everyone looks toward. And we will export those technologies just as we exported industrial goods way back. So the fact is, we, we're, we're going to do this. And President Obama understands it, and he talked about it in his uh, campaign. And this stimulus bill is the first leg of what he wants to do. And this isn't easy, but to say to do nothing to do well, nothing. Mm, I yeah, think, no, I, I just, I just want to say this. I, 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 I didn't say, say this. that. I didn't say that. No, 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 no. He said, Joe said, CBO said, mm -hmm. you're right. better off doing nothing. I want to just say to CBO, whoever, CBO maybe. That's the Congressional that, Budget Office, as you know. That to do nothing.